this is Lauren Anderson, retired botanist from FSU. Uh, in Florida, we have a few species of mint, a shrubby mint called Conradina. There's one that occurs up in Tennessee, but most of them are Florida. Some are very, very local, but uh, Conradina canescens occurs near the coast throughout the panhandle. And it ha as the name canescens suggests, the uh, stems are uh, hairy. But this species is called Conradina glabra. You see it's bright green. There's no hairs on the stem. Conradina canescens is often a light lavender or pinkish. This is nearly white. But as we study it, it's more or less the end of a continuum. There's a lot of variability between canescens and glabra. But glabra, as we understand it, is only found in the northern part of Liberty County, so it's near the Apalachicola River, so it's called the Apalachicola Rosemary. When we surveyed years ago for a potential pipeline corridor, we found the plant was a lot more abundant than people originally thought. It likes a slightly disturbed area in the sandy uh, open pine scrub. In recent years, uh, some of my friends have discovered populations that don't fit canescens or glabra, and there's two different varieties that I might name. I wanted to name them, but then some people that were working on chemistry of them uh, couldn't decide if they were all that distinctive or not, so it's sort of on the back burner. But there's a population over in Washington County that's distinctive, but there's a very distinctive population over in the Blackwater River area that extends into uh, nearby Alabama that is a very distinctive sort of uh, nearly glabrous canescent simple sample. So uh, plants are very interesting. We don't understand all about them yet, but this one, as we do understand it, is very local, found only in this one county. And I knew of this site for years and thought it might have been disturbed because they harvested the uh, pine plantation behind it and disturbed the soil quite a bit. But they probably actually made the habitat for this plant a little bit happier because there's more here than I recall from earlier years. So it's very local, but it is hanging on. But we need to be aware that it is very limited in its range, and it's such a beautiful thing, we need to take care of it. So that's the Apalachicola rosemary, Conradina glabra.